Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. I got a word to share with you to hopefully really encourage your heart. In my quiet time, I was reading this very short, pop, but powerful, familiar passage of scripture, scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. I thought I would share this word with you, and hopefully it will speak to your heart. And it just says, for we, to, we are to walk by faith, not by sight. Wow. You know, the truth is, guys, we are saved by grace through faith in Christ, and we are to walk by faith and not by sight. As followers, we are not to live by trusting in what we imagine or what we feel. But sadly, so many Christians are diverted away from this path of faith to living by sight, by signs, by senses, by emotions, by imagination, by feelings by worldly philosophies, especially when life's storms come and the difficult circumstances rising up to block their path. However, the man or woman that lives by faith as well as being saved by faith accepts the truth that God uses all the storms and problems of our lives as well as the great times of great joy and rejoicing to remove all the pride and selfishness of our old sin nature as he gently conforms our new life into the beautiful image of our loving Lord and Savior. The man or woman who lives by faith uses life's stumbling blocks as stepping stones you know, faith allows obstacles to be changed into opportunities and wounds that are inflicted to become a witness to the generous grace he pours out into our lives in great abundance. When we live by faith, we will remain in fellowship with the Lord and can become healing balm of a godly comfort in the lives of others who are facing similar difficulties. So today, are you walking by faith or by sight? In other words, are you choosing to believe God no matter what your circumstances look like? Are you making decisions and focusing your mind on what you could only see? Our Heavenly Father desires to lead us in a life of faith. This means He often draws us into the unknown, for it is only in the own unknown that we truly learn to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. And as the unknown becomes known, He will surely call us to take the next step and trust Him more. Though the situation of the unknown sometimes is uncomfortable and maybe a little scary, being guided by God into what we cannot see is the essence of a life of faith. A life which pleases God. Until the day he calls us home, we must continue to listen, to step out in faith, and to grow. We must continue to daily walk by faith and not by sight. Well, guys, just a quick word of encouragement that um, if you're struggling with walking by faith and, and relying on your sight, I hope this um, speaks to your heart. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. I know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.